Um, thank you all for gathering here this morning. Uh, I'm here to give my final statement on the matter of the video that was leaked by Project Veritas um, concerning a conversation that I had. I'm grateful to have as one of my mentors, Rep Cobb Hunter. She has helped me see how some of my words may have offended, how some may have been offended by my words. And for that, I apologize. I apologize for my language in this private conversation and for offending my fellow Democrats. I have also made a formal request with the FEC asking them to audit my campaign because I have absolutely nothing to hide. I now call on Tim Scott to apologize for voting against Kentonji Brown Jackson, to apologize for voting down the Voting Rights Act, and for voting against a woman's right to choose. I'll stop there. I'd now like to ask the Republican Party to apologize for nominating an unqualified nominee, then using a questionable institution to sell a meritless master's degree to that nominee to sidestep our code of law. Last but not least, I'd like to extend the, the welcome to whoever leaked the private conversation. They too may want to apologize. Leaking this audio violates this inmate's privacy and may be a violation of his civil rights. Moving forward, I've been saying that I'm a different kind of Democrat, and I am exactly that, with experience and knowledge to get things done for the people of South Carolina. Democrats need to rally behind each other, not based on personal relationship, but based on a common goal. Too often, we allow ourselves to be distracted and redirected, and our lack of progress shows that far more than it should. Republicans win because they band together no matter what. And if we are going to start winning again, we can't allow them to tear us apart because the House divided will never stand. This is my call to action today. Democrats, focus on the goal. Thank you so much. First question for you. Um, I'm just wondering if you know how the audio got released. I mean, it's public record, but South, uh, Corrections said that um, they hadn't released it to anyone prior to uh, media requesting it. And um, from what I understand, there was only one other party on the call, someone related to the Black Liberation Fund. So I was just wondering if you had any idea how the call might have been leaked in the first place. No, I do not know how the call got leaked, um, but I am um, really putting pressure on them to do the research to find out. We need an investigation to find out how this call was leaked. Gotcha. Do you have any idea um, what might have been? Any theory? I have no clue. And, and has uh, Corrections committed to looking into how the call got leaked or have you been in conversation with them? I think they have made, we've made the request and I think they've requested an investigation into seeing how that call was leaked as well. I know you mentioned speaking to some of your Democratic colleagues in the House about what happened. I was wondering if you've been in touch with um, the chairman of the party as well um, regarding this, you know, prospects for the Senate race and uh, also prospects for your own House race later this year. Um, the theme here is that everybody is supportive. People who know me judge me by my body of work. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about now, obviously, you're the Democratic nominee. Um, you know, moving forward, what are your plans for the campaign? Are you looking to build your staff? Um, any changes in advertising or anything like that? Definitely building our staff. Um, the outpouring of support from those who are rallying behind me uh, in all the counties is overwhelming. I am so excited to be able to launch um, a countywide initiative, a statewide county initiative um, to roll out our ground game in each one of those counties going forward to get our election uh, started and rolling in a smooth direction. Gotcha. And then um, uh, we talked a little bit last week about, um, you know, campaigning against Tim Scott and his rather large sum of money. Um, and you told me, you know, you're not really looking to campaign against that. Um, would you stand by that? And would you have any other thoughts on campaigning against um, him? Yeah, so I stand, I stand on that. I, you know, money does not win elections. People who vote win elections. And so our ground game and our grassroots plan to get out and really talk and, and touch the people, um, it's proving to be quite effective as you've already seen. Thank you.